I keep being asked a lot recently, how can I stop procrastinating and stop being lazy? How to become 10 times more productive without leaving anything to the very end to the deadline? Hello everyone, this is Javid and you're watching the 5 Minute Wisdom Show. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to never ever leave anything to the very end to the deadline and finish your projects before even deadline approaches. So. The question of procrastination, how can we avoid procrastination? In order to find out this question, the answer to this question, we have to first think about what is procrastination? Why do we human beings procrastinate? So the question, in order to find the answer to it, we have to really look at the human brain. Now, procrastination happened to me a lot, especially when I was studying at the university, when I was working on my dissertation. And therefore, I had to research this topic to overcome my own problem of procrastination. Now, there was this guy at my uni, he always finished every project. And I'm sure you all know this person. He always finished the projects, his dissertation, his essays before the deadline. Even before we all started, he got things done. Now, this inspired me to do research on this. This was my revelation. And later on, I applied it to my life, my personal life. And my productivity has increased. 10 times more. So what is procrastination? Human beings, our brains, is, is the main organism as we know in our body. And it, it's the one that consumes the most energy. Therefore, naturally, our brains are pre-programmed to preserve as much as energy as possible. Therefore, without the immediate threat to our lives, we tend to not to get out of our comfort zone, how to say. As the long-term projects, the projects that we don't see the immediate result, like, like writing a book, for instance, that's my goal right now. Like any other project that we're working on, we have to work on for a month, or let's say a few months even. We don't, as we don't see immediate results, it is not a life and death situation to our brain. Therefore, we keep to pushing it towards the end, telling ourselves, I'm going to finish it, like, I'm going to start doing it later, and later and later. But what happens when the deadline approaches? Towards the end, the deadline approaches, uh, our brain turns into this confused state of thinking either finishing the project is like life and death situation comes, but because we have very few time, we turn into fight or flight mode. So what is the fight or flight mode? Uh, it's the mode when you, when, when you face an immediate threat, an immediate danger, uh, your brain turns on, you either run away from that threat or go towards it and fight it. So if you look at our stories, most of us has done it. You have to write a dissertation, you have to work on a project. And then two days before the deadline, before the exam, your brain turns into this monster of like geniusness. And then you work on your project, you start writing, learning, consuming the information in one day that you couldn't do it for a month. So that, that's like a fight mode. The flight mode is we get depressed, we get super bad, we give up, we think that we're like incapable of doing that. We choose one, either two, but how to avoid it, how to not even get there, because it's like very draining energy and resource draining process. Uh, I came up with this simple technique, which, which I called it like five minute technique. So in order to never ever leave anything to the very last minute to the deadline, what you have to do is like, you have been assigned a task, you have to work on it for a month. For my case, it's writing a book. What I do, I wake up every morning, I tell to myself, listen, I'm gonna work on this project for five minutes only, no more, no less, just five minutes, it's not a big thing. Because I know that if I complicate this task, if I say, oh my God, I have to write a chapter today, I'm not likely to do it. I'm not going to do it. So what I do instead, I say, listen, dude, you don't even need to work out, work hard. You don't even need to like write super smart sentences. Just get out, get out there, open your computer, start typing good, bad, whatever you have in your mind. Just type for five minutes and that's it. You can leave. You're free to go after that. So what I do, I start writing five minutes. I put my timer on five minutes. It's done. The hardest thing, as we know, it's the first step. Once you take the first step, your like, blood pumps through your body, you can go on. And then I feel like more pumped. I'm like, yeah, I did five minutes. It's not a big deal. I'm going to do 15 more. Once I get past that 15 minutes, I can like smash it for an hour. You know, It makes me productive. And you can apply it to everything in your life. Like, You're tired. You don't want to work out. You don't want to go to the gym. Tell yourself, listen, I'm going to get up and 
We work out for five minutes, not more than that. Once you get that five minutes done, once you feel that energy going through your body, once you feel that you've started, you're gonna be unstoppable. Like me with this video, I've been procrastinating it for like a week. I mean, even though I had works to do, my plan is to get out, do a video every Saturday, Sunday, every weekend, a new video. So what I did, I said, listen, I don't need a perfect script. I don't need like a perfect thought. I'm not ready, whatever. I'm gonna get out, put a cam camera on and just do it for five minutes, super quick. Just get it done. And then once, once you get the first like adrenaline, the energy, the, 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 the blood rushing through your body, through your veins, you're good to go. You can take it off there. First step is done, now you're okay to, to go. So comment below and tell me how you fight your procrastination, how you work on your issue, how maybe you have a better way of fighting the procrastination, finishing, getting things done. But apply this technique if you're not sure, like you have a month project, a week project, whatever, apply it, first day you've been assigned, five minutes, no more than that, and then tell me the results. Thank you very much, so please subscribe to my channel, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can, and see you soon in our next videos.